So we'll take you through MTN today. Um, what we're covering is the recent news flow that we had on the company. I think there's been also some moving parts we had, that we'll also look through in terms of the effects of the NARA devaluation and also just looking at the, uh, the impact of the recent minority stake by MasterCard. So the first half results came in ahead of consensus. So the top line was what management had, had guided for. Um, but a bit of a weakness uh, on the margin front. So you're seeing quite a lot of high inflation coming through for the various upcalls around uh, around Africa. And the high inflation uh, is resulting to slightly weaker margins. Um, we think this is relatively short term, uh, but as we look across, we still see value in the company. So we also had the big news flow coming through, a memorandum of understanding where MasterCard is looking to buy a minority stake on MTN's FinTech business. So highlighted the bull case in our scenario and also just a lot of inherent value within the company. Uh, the balance sheet still remains strong uh, despite some moving parts with the rent depreciating and um, and yeah, the, the Naira as well depreciating. So net debt to EBITDA is still about 1.5 times. It's slightly increased from the 0.9 times that we had seen earlier on. We maintain our buy recommendation and we slightly uh, adjust our intrinsic value to incorporate the news flow. So mainly the Naira depreciation. And we think though the FinTech all case scenario is still supportive of our, of our valuation. So we see about 37% upside and we maintain our buy recommendation for the company. Thank you very much for joining us today.